Women's Super League has sealed a multi-million deal this morning with the BBC and Sky Sports. The FA have struck a three-year deal with Sky Sports and BBC to bring live coverage of women's football across their channels. This partnership will help bring more access to people across the country to be able to watch football on mainstream live media. This partnership is set to be worth around £7 million. In terms of how much football will actually be streamed, Sky Sports is set to stream a minimum of 35 games next season, possibly rising to 44 matches. This also includes flagship matches on their main sports channels such as Sky Sports Main Event and Sky Sports Football. The BBC also has rights to a further 22 live games across their sporting channels, with the other 18 either on BBC One or BBC iPlayer. All of the other games not broadcasted on either Sky Sports or BBC will be put onto the FA Player for those fans to be able to watch. That means that 132 more matches will still be able to be visible next season. In terms of revenue generated, it's been stated that it will be equally split between all teams in the WSL, with a small percentage also being handed down to the Championship. 25% to be exact. This also aims to help boost the championship financially, helping close that gap between the championship and the top tier WSL1. Sky has promised to give the WSL the full Sky Sports treatment, including lengthy build-ups and live reactions. Both of these deals with Sky Sports and BBC are going to be lasting a total of three years, hoping to build up women's football coverage until 2024. This is potentially one of the biggest moments yet in women's football. Being able to broadcast live onto multimedia channels means that women's football can reach a wider audience and bring in more fans from more clubs across the globe. So what might the actual scheduling of the games look like? Obviously, it's going to be tricky for both BBC and Sky Sports to be able to arrange these fixtures around the already tight and pressurised schedule of Premier League matches. However, there has been insight into when these matches might be played including 12.30 on a Sunday, 6.30 on a Sunday, 11.30 on a Saturday and 6.30 on a Friday evening. These time slots have been made to try and target audiences around Premier League matches, giving the women's football a best chance possible at reaching a wider audience. It's also important to look at the challenges the leagues might face. It's been no stranger to the women's game that pitches sometimes have been a massive barrier in games going ahead especially in the colder months. This could lead to broadcasters really keeping an eye on the way that pitches are handled within the women's game. We are hoping that this deal between these two large broadcasting outlets of sport will grow the fan bases. Once the pandemic is over, we'll hopefully see a large amount of crowds back into WL stadiums. And this seems like a giant step forward for the women's game. It's sort of now down to the teams, the coaches, the clubs to really put their best foot forward and bring the best of women's football to these channels. I'm interested to know what you all think. Do you believe this is the right thing for women's football or has it come too early? I want to know your thoughts, so make sure you comment them down below and let me know how you think this is all going to go. This has been your little guide onto what this massive deal for women's football might mean. So thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video and we'll be back soon with another video.